Da -da 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 -da. Show World. Welcome to Show World, gamers. Josh here, and as this week draws to a close, I wanted to take a moment to look at this week's new game releases, new gaming announcements, and a few news stories. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button to join in on the fun. All right, gamers. As always, we will start off this, with this week's new game releases, and we'll start with what's probably this week's biggest game and that's FIFA 23. It is out now and will most likely be the last FIFA branded game from Electronic Arts. They have decided not to resign their contract, so next year's game will have some new title. Next up, Moon Scars was released this week on the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation systems, PC, and Xbox systems, including a Game Pass Day 1 release. We checked out this challenging roguelike 2D Castlevania style game on the channel, so check it out at the link at the end of this video. Valkyrie Elysium released this week by Square Enix for the PC and the PlayStation 4 as well as the PlayStation 5. We played this fast action RPG on the channel, so definitely check out our video linked at the end of this one for some gameplay and my initial thoughts on what may end up being one of those really good games that slip under the radar. Next up, a game called Legend of Heroes Trials from Zero launched this week on Nintendo Switch as well as PlayStation systems. This is a remake of the 2010 game, and if you're a fan of JRPGs, you should definitely check this game out. Lastly, Arrowheart is a top-down action-adventure RPG game that gives me vibes of classic games like The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I'm really looking forward to giving this game a shot. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if anybody has played this, let me know what you think of it. Next up, let's take a look at some new gaming announcements. Now, in an unexpected announcement, Netflix continues bringing video game IPs to their streaming service. This time, they announced an anime based on the classic Capcom game, Onimusha. I remember really enjoying the original Onimusha game on the PlayStation 2, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this project turns out. Actually, in other Netflix news, after acquiring a few gaming studios, they are now opening up a new gaming studio of their own. Also, Wild Hearts was announced by EA and Koei Tecmo with a February 17th, 2023 release date. The game will be coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox, and from what I have seen, this looks pretty good. It gives off vibes of a Monster Hunter style game, but with samurai and the ability to build traps and contraptions in real time during fights to add strategy to the battles. I'm definitely going to keep my eyes on this release as we get more info, so stay tuned for that. Gigantosaurus Dino Kart was announced for the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation systems, and the Xbox systems. Now, it's based on the animated show, and this game is definitely geared towards a younger audience, but if you have any younger Dino fans in the family, this game will be released sometime next year in 2023. Next up, Scorn got a release date bump from October 21st to October 14th. This very dark game that looks straight out of the mind of H.R. Geiger, first person shooter is definitely on my radar. We will definitely be checking it out on the channel, so definitely check back for that. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Last up, The Night Witch had its release date revealed for the Nintendo Switch, Xbox systems, PlayStation systems, as well as PC. Now this fast, intense Metroidvania style game looks like it has some card-based features also. It looks interesting and will release for all systems on November 29th, so we don't have to wait too long for this one. All right, gamers, let's finish up with a few news stories from this week in gaming. And we'll start with E3. It has officially announced its in-person return to the LA Convention Center from June 13th through June 16th of next year. They are teaming up with Reed Pop and are splitting the first two days for industry business and the second two for fans. I really hope this happens and is successful as I feel this is a fun and important cog in the video game machine. Also, HBO Max gave us our first full trailer for the upcoming The Last of Us television series adaptation, and it is looking really good. We have not gotten a concrete release date for the first season yet, but it is listed as a 2023 release. Now, the South Korean rating board did leak a potential Silent Hill project. 
We have heard about multiple Silent Hill projects being worked on from multiple studios. The rating was given to the Silent Hill, the short message, which is believed to be a demo. We will definitely keep an eye on this story. Hopefully, if it is a demo, we can get our hands on it sometime soon. Now, Cyberpunk 2077 is finding its way back into the news, but this time, it's good news for CD Projekt Red. It seems the popularity of the animated Netflix show, Cyberpunk 2077 Edge Runners, has boosted demand for the game, which has now crossed the 20 million sold mark. I have yet to check out the show, but I plan to check that out soon. If any of you guys have checked it out, let me know how it was in the comments. Now our last bit of news is Razer and Verizon announced a new portable gaming device. It will support 5G gaming on the go. It also supports 4K HDMI out. So this should be able to connect to a TV or monitor also. It is an Android based machine though, but we can expect more info at RazorCon, which takes place on October 15th. All right, gamers, that concludes this week in review for the week ending on 9.30. The week started with that hacker who leaked the Grand Theft Auto 6 footage we talked about last week, finding himself behind bars. Then we got rumors of a huge battle royal mode coming to Halo Infinite, and the week ended with news on yet another upcoming portable gaming system. But let me know anything I may have missed in the comments, and thanks for joining us today, gamers. Show's World, out.